Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hey everyone, Holy Paladins are among the strongest healers right now in both 2v2 and 3v3 with what seems like almost unrivaled healing and defensive cooldowns while simultaneously having the potential to do some crazy damage. Well, we've hit up rank 1 Holy Paladin ABX and asked him to share just how to play against and counter his spec of choice. Welcome to Know Your Enemy. So Paladin healing can feel completely absurd at times, with some heals making you question if they enabled lay on hands in PvP. Well, what makes this possible is their wings, also known as Avenging Wrath. While this is up, all of the Paladin's healing is increased by 30%, as well as them gaining a lower CD on their Holy Shock, which is their instant heal. There is no questioning this cooldown strength, so how do you play around it? Well, it's a baseline 2 minute CD, and while it's up, there is almost no chance of you creating pressure or scoring a kill. This means it's imperative that you play around Avenging Wrath. What I mean by this is if you see this cooldown up, then popping your offensive cooldowns or even trying to continue to out DPS their healing is a very big mistake. There are two main ways to do this. Either first look to crowd control or interrupt the paladin during this time. This will heavily reduce his overall healing and ability to recover. The other way to deal with Avenging Wrath is just to try to hold out on popping your CDs and try to force it without using any of those CDs. And then once it's down, look to try and take advantage of a paladin's weak healing and score a kill. Moving on, Holy Paladin's biggest weakness is just how vulnerable they are to all forms of crowd control. Let's just take a look at other healers for example. Druids of course have the ability to shift forms to immune certain CC, Shaman has an interrupt, grounding, monks have two rolls and a portal, and priests have premonition. But what do Paladins have? Well, apart from their 2 minute major defensive cooldown hand of sacrifice, they have no easy way to easily avoid crowd control. So instead of just hitting Paladins or trying to kill through their healing, forming your strategy around crowd controlling them often will give you the best chance at winning. Next up, we have Blessing of Protection, Blessing of Freedom, Divine Favor, and Light's Grace. What do these four abilities have in common? They're all magic buffs, and all four are great buffs to look to purge, and here's why. Blessing of Protection goes without saying. If you have a purge on your team and a physical damage dealer, this buff becomes incredibly important to purge, as while it remains, the target is immune to all physical damage. Light's Grace, on the other hand, is a little different, and a little less obvious. This buff is applied to the target that the Paladin casts Holy Light on. What this does is apply a 5% damage reduction with every cast, stacking up to 3. To put this in perspective, Bark Skin and Iron Bark are both 20% DRs, so if you allow this buff to remain on target without purging it, it's the equivalent of your target almost having bark skin up permanently. Divine Favor could be considered a Paladin's Aura Mastery, making them immune to interrupts for their next Holy Light cast, as well as buffing the heal by 100%. Purging this can really set a Paladin behind, as while well it's up, they don't ever expect to be interrupted. If you purge this quickly, you're able to then interrupt the subsequent cast. Something to always be on the lookout for and a must track cooldown on Omnibar. Blessing of Freedom is again very important to purge. While this remains, the target is immune to all slows, Purging this from the target will render them unable to kite, meaning that you can get a lot more pressure, especially if you purge this from the Paladin. Needless to say, Purge is one of the most valuable tools when against a Paladin. Alright, for our next big point, Holy Paladins love to fake cast over and over again, and with their Holy Light cast also being lightning quick, this often makes interrupting them a nightmare. Well, don't worry. There's another trick in order to secure interrupts on Paladins other than purging their Divine Favor, and that's paying attention to their infusion of light buff. This buff is what gives Holy Paladins their fast Holy Lights. Provided by Holy Shock crits and the main reason Paladins stack crit, this buff reduces the Paladins Holy Light cast time by 1.5 seconds. Seeing this buff on the Paladin when you're focusing them or their teammates will notify you that their next global will more than likely be a Holy Light cast because the Paladin will never really cast Flash of Light due to how weak its healing is and if they don't have this buff, it's unlikely you will see the Paladin cast, so if you notice this buff, you can use that information to then quickly secure an interrupt. So look to either kick instantly when you see the Paladin stop moving, or later on in the cast, this way you prevent yourself from getting faked. Alright, and for our last major point on how to deal with Holy Paladins, we have swapping. 
When playing against a paladin, there are often times when you find them dropping low, even when you're not training them. This is for two reasons, Blessing of Sacrifice and Light of the Martyr. Light of the Martyr sacrifices the paladin's own health to instantly heal their partners, whereas Sacrifice transfers a portion of the damage dealt to that target to the paladin. This means there are often going to be times where you'll see the paladin low, and this can be a great way to punish them by swapping to that paladin. That's not the only reason you should be on the lookout for swaps though. Paladin's biggest personal defensive is their Divine Shield, commonly referred to as Bubble, and when not being focused, Paladins will often use this important defensive cooldown as a way to break CC. So if you see a Paladin low on health or without their Bubble, be on the lookout to swap to them. Alright guys, that's going to be our top 5 tips in order to counter Holy Paladins. We hope this was helpful and be sure to let us know what class you want to see next. Thanks for watching.